Fancy institutions have to have a Latin motto, um, and ours is mens et manus, which means mind and hand. Um, and, um, and, and that it speaks exactly to that theory practice idea. It's, it's, it's very ingrained here um, in being, you know, our mascot is the beaver, right? It's the, the engineer of the, of the natural world. Um, so that doing orientation is, is really built in. I, the way it shows up for us is that the very first thing, the inception point for the sustainability initiative here um, was a course called S-Lab. Um, and S-Lab is a laboratory for sustainable business where our students are in teams working with a company on advancing a sustainability challenge. Um, I taught that course for years. Bethany Patton now teaches that course. I mentor some of the projects in it. Um, and, um, and it's a really important base, like foundation of what we do because it keeps us honest, <laughs> um, in terms of the, the, and that action learning ethos is a big part of why people come to Sloan. Um, everyone come, who comes here, takes some of these action learning type courses and a lot of other business schools have, have followed suit, um, bringing in field programs and, uh, action learning programs of various kinds. So that's kind of one way that it shows up here. Um, there's another way that it shows up, which is sort of subtle in the research community. But um, one of the things I've noticed is that, you know, when you go to research seminars around here, um, you know, even if someone is a, a quantitative researcher who's got a big data set and they're, uh, they're doing all kinds of fancy statistics about it, um, if somebody asks them a question that shows that they don't, they haven't actually talked to the people in the situation they're studying and really like gotten into the mechanics of what's going on and have some felt sense of the system that they're looking at, like they, they won't be taken seriously. Um, and, and it's, and it's for that reason that actually qualitative research is very strong here at the Sloan school in a way that people might not expect given the stereotype about MIT. But, you know, I was trained by people who were, you know, anthropologists and qualitative sociologists and, like I'm, I'm a pretty good qualitative methodologist, and that's the re result of, you know, people like John Van Manen and Vonda Orlikowski and um, Kate Kellogg and Ed Shine and uh, you know, um, Kat Turco and all down the line. So there's a tradition here, and I think it's part and parcel of this. Like you have to go be encountered with practice and be engaged, um, even if you're doing pure research. Certainly, our students with the action learning, um, and then. Uh, and then there's all kinds of ways that you know MIT is permeable to companies, right, and to and to in innovators and um, you know increasingly investors of various kinds, uh, from the industrial liaison program to you know membership consortiums like our aggregate confusion project. You know we we're always trying to co-create, co-construct our questions and our work in tandem with real world uh, challenges that people face.